Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. In today's video, I am going to show you on how to use or how to apply the border color in the text box of Microsoft Access. Let me show you my sample guys. As you can see, there's a username and password text box. This is blank and the color of the text box is color black. If we click log in with the blank records, the text box turns into red and there's a message. Please enter the correct username and password. What if we will put a data? XXX. Please enter the password. What if uh, this is the correct password? 1, 2, 3. Access granted. You may proceed. What if the data is wrong? Please enter the password. Wrong username or password, and then the text box turns into red, and then it's uh, it's a blank. The wrong password and the wrong username is deleted. So how to do this? If you are still interested, please watch this video until the end, and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Right, guys, let us create this form design, and let us add a two text box. Copy paste, and then. Uh, let us rename this to username and the second text box is password and also let us change username and also password Let's put it in the center in bold okay and then let us add a command button cancel the wizard and then let's type login okay let us try that's it and then let us start the coding guys click here in the property sheet click event and then let us select the on click and then let us check this code builder click ok and here we go let us start the coding so we can type guys f is null me that username and is null again me that password then what will happen me that username that border color is equals to bb red and then for the password is also red equals bb red and then I have to put a note here if the username and password is blank okay, that's it I put end if I forgot okay so now let us try guys so if we click this login here we go so the border color turns into red because this is blank so what if there is a record for example that one okay nothing's happened so let us continue the coding so since this is f so let us add else else so if else we can copy this and then paste And let us change this to BB black. Let us try. Okay. It turns into black. Again. Red. And if we put something, it turns into red. So what if the username is blank or the password is blank? So if any one of these text box is blank so it should be highlighted 
So, let us continue the coding, guys. Let us use the else if. Let's put else if is null me that password and not is null me that sorry me that username then what's next me that password that border color is equals to bb red and me that username that border color is equals to bb black so i'll put a note guys if the password is blank that's it so let us try this one if we delete okay so both blank text box becomes uh, color red if we put something okay so this password uh, the only red but if we put that one okay it's good what if the username is blank so it should be highlighted so let us continue guys so uh, this is if the username is blank so else if not is null me that password and is null for the username then me that password that border color is equals to bb black and me that for the username that border so it should be bb red okay let us try guys okay username if you put value okay so it turns to red And if we put data okay so now guys let us add some message here we can put a message like message box please enter the correct user and password and then this is bb information and uh, let's put required let us try what if this is blank okay please enter the correct username and password okay what if the password is blank so let's put uh, a message sir if the password is blank message box please enter the correct password then bb information and also password required let's try okay please enter the password what if the username is blank so let's put uh, a message guys let's copy paste to make it faster please enter the okay, correct username and then let's put username required let's try Please enter the correct username. Okay, it's good. And then, let us delete. Let us try another one. Please enter the correct username and password. If we click OK, guys, the cursor must be in the username. Must be here. So let us put another function. Like, 
me that username that seat focus okay let us try okay please enter the correct username and password if we click okay okay the pass the cursor is in this uh, text box in the username let us close okay open again please enter the correct username okay that's it and then let us uh, what if the password is blank so let us add here same with the uh, username me that password that's it focus okay here also me that username that's it focus okay let's put a value if we click this please enter the password and the focus uh, is in the password okay what if this is uh, blank please enter the correct username and then the focus is in the username so let us add guys uh, some uh, another function what if all the data is correct or the password and the username is correct let us add here if me that username is equals to uh, xxx and me that password is equals to 123 then uh, message box type access granted and you may proceed BB information and then the title is login succeeded okay let us uh, before I forget let us add and F okay for the second one okay let's put XXX this is the correct username and the password is 123 if we click login okay access granted and you may proceed what if the password and username is wrong so let's put here else else uh, there's a message box wrong username and or password okay then bb critical i'll choose critical and then login denied something like this let's try wrong username or password and then let's put uh, some uh, epics guys if this is wrong so the data will be clear and then it will turn to red so here let's put me that username that border color is uh, bb red and then me that password also that border is equals to bb red and then let us try okay wrong username or password okay and it will be cleared guys so me that username okay is equals to clear and me that password is equals to clear also sorry so wrong username or password okay it's blank wrong username or password it's blank but xxx and 123 access granted and you may proceed let us close and save and let us try again click please enter the correct username or password if we click 
xxx please enter the password 123 access granted and you may proceed what if the password is wrong wrong username or password and it's blank we can add some guys me that username that's it focus okay wrong username okay i think guys this is enough for this topic and if you want to continue to learn about creating a login form you can watch my video about creating a login form with different security level i will put the link below in the description so that you can see it's easy for you to see and again guys uh, thank you for watching and see you to my next video